We know you can pick your friends, but you can't pick your neighbours. And boy, do the residents on this street know it. They say their neighbours are chronic hoarders and they want council to step in. This is just how we live. Everyone has a different way of how they're going to live and I don't want to be judged by that just because I'm out here living. On this quiet suburban street on the New South Wales central coast, there's one very busy house. I call it the, the junkyard. It's uh, like living next to a dump. You've got the rats, you've got the, the mess. You can't park on the street because of all the cars. unregistered cars that they have. Yeah, it's yeah. just a big eyesore. Yeah. Basically. When Llewellyn bought his home in Berkeley Vale in 2010, this is what he saw next door. But a lot's changed in a decade. It's just grown and grown and grown as they've run out of space. It's just grown and now it's just to the road. The father of two has found himself a neighbour to hoarders. I just want to move out. I feel like a prisoner in my own home. I would like to move out and just be done with this, but with the amount I owe on the property, I can't sell it for what it's less than what it's worth. Llewellyn claims not only is his neighbour's front yard unsightly, it's dangerous. Well, the carport's half taken down, but the veranda's rotting, and I'm afraid it's going to collapse at any second. You know, I'm even fearful just standing here. In a storm situation, stuff does blow off, and, you know, some of the stuff's heavy. It's machinery, it's got flammable liquids, oils, um, all kinds of stuff. Out the back isn't much better. The neighbours who live here only moved in two years ago. When they bought this place, this is what sold it. But what they didn't see is what lurks behind these trees. And it isn't pretty. The pool could certainly do with a clean. It's filled with rainwater and it's green, mosquitoes, frogs. But Jess says her family's hoarding isn't a problem, it's a business. It's not junk, it's actually worth money and it's our business, we make money off it. It has no rodents, no snakes in it, my cat goes all within the stuff. It's not rubbish. See that dog thing that's right there? That's worth three grand. One, two, three, four, five, six friggin' whippersnippers hanging up here on the fence. That's money. Lego. Worth money, collectibles. Neighbours Leanne and Robert think it should be cleaned up. Are you worried about what is there? Yes. Like, what if there was a fire? Um, you know, vermin? I don't know what, what's... I mean, I haven't seen anything, but I'm not right next to it. It's just unhealthy. I mean, I feel sorry for them. Jess says Central Coast Council ordered them to take down the carport. So if the council does order you to clean it up, you'll clean it up? Yes. Yeah. But they haven't ordered us to do that and we've talked to the council members. They come around nearly every week, honey. Our properties have been like this for the last 10 properties we've lived in. We've been hassled by council of every property we've been in. We aren't doing anything wrong. When I'm out on my veranda, I try not to look this way, I try and look the other way. But, you know, when I see the ute pull up with more stuff, I get anxious, I get angry. But I'm particularly angry at council because really they are the only ones who can do anything about it. In the meantime, Llewellyn is trying to get a fence put in so he doesn't have to look at this. What would you say to council? Well, I, I don't want to beg, but I have begged. I've actually written the words, I am begging you to do something about this. Our family is dysfunctional. We try and freaking get to it. We have to put up with each other. So yeah, the neighbours can put up with us. Right. Why can't you just go, oh cool, that's not your house, it's the neighbours and ignore it. So basically from your perspective, you think it's valuable, you know it's, uh, I know it's you valuable. know it's ugly, but you don't care and you know, enter at your own risk. Yes. Well, Central Coast Council says it's done its best to try to find a solution, but nothing has worked and it's now considering enforcement options.